Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Mamuki Nevermore. And today we're playing Mary Palooza? I think I think that's how you say it, I don't know. And the Galaxy Man. So this is a demo. It's still an alpha. Of course, down below there's gonna be links to like their Kickstarter to continue their development and such. I disclose that right away. But yeah. Let's see how well this does. <laughs> I will try to give my best way of feedback and hey. Oh, how cute. Um, hello brightness. Ow. The guy might need these. That does help a tiny bit. Ow. I'm being flashbanged. Help. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> help. <laughs> Why are you only in my right ear? Now you're only in my left. Now you're in both. What? Audio. Hello? Hang in there, little guy. Oh. We'll be back out and about in no time. Oh, how cute. What did you guess find, there's no buddy? subtitles? Hey, Aunt Dawn. It's another mirette with radiation sickness. Oh. <gasps> Adorable. <laughs> Hello to What's you that, too, Pancake. <laughs> oh, Pancake? Poor fellow. He's the fifth one this week too. I don't think it's artificial either. Mm. There's no construction or manufacturing nearby. Maybe there's a nebular migration? It's possible, oh, I suppose. But nebular tend to finish the kill. So what else? Oh. Super giants? Green star. Tell you what, you can think on it while you get your work done. Ah, uh, of course. Off you go, Mariposa. Mariposa. That's how you say her name. <sighs> okay. All right then. Let's see what's on the agenda for today. I wish I was subtitles, fam. What's grooving, Kika? Hi, Mari. Kika. Do you want to play together? No. Sorry, I'm working right now. I'll play later, okay? You have to. I'm gonna grow up and be a grumpy teenager one day, and you're gonna regret not play with me when you could. <laughs> is that so? Uh-huh. Wait, is that a hat and time reference right there? Is your dad's harvest going well? Why the sin talk about growing up? I'm gonna ask about the harvest. How's your dad's harvest going? I'm looking forward to having Lenore nectar on my pancakes again. Me too. Mm. Dad's mad at one of the harvest machines, though. It broke in the storm last week and won't work no matter what he does. Oh. Does he need some new parts? Yeah, but someone called and said they're gonna come late. He said there was a space road disturbance in the way. I think some of his workers got stuck in traffic because of it, too. That's strange. That's I strange. I heard something about that earlier when I was driving down to the planet today. I wonder what's going on. Uh... What's this sudden talk about growing up, anyway? Oh, right. Dad says I'll have my metamorphosis soon, and I need mm. to start thinking about my future and stuff. Oh, mm. stars! That must be pretty exciting, huh? Not really. Yes, but I don't know if I want to have wings yet. Mm. Do you think it'll hurt getting them? What if they come out all crumpled? Or have weird colors? Mm. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll have beautiful wings, just like your family. Besides, it won't hurt. You'll be sleeping in your cocoon the whole time. How do you know? You never got yours. Uh, well, I've read a lot about it. I have some books in my van about it, if you want me to get them for you. Oh, okay. Besides, oh. I could still get my wings any time, you know. Are you sure? I heard that sometimes half you and Flutterkins never get them. Half what? I'll go get the books. <laughs> I'll go get the books, fuck you, child. <laughs> so, how are Hatira and Razarin doing today? Off saving the galaxy again? Yeah, they're about to fight an angry owl thing. Mm. He's got a knife, and he's mad because he doesn't have self-respect, and he's lashing out at other people. Like you are right now. Oh. So what are they going to do about it? Hatira wants to kick his butt, but Razarin wants to explore his subconscious brain. First, Subconscious. He wants his psychic kick his butt, though. <laughs> huh. 
Oh, precious. Maybe you should be a therapist when you grow up. Dad says that too! <laughs> Alright. Hey, Kika. Here's the book I was talking about. Oh, thanks! It's pretty good. I hope it helps. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I made you sad with what I said. I hope you get your wings someday, Mari. Oh, you... You shouldn't worry about me. Focus on good thoughts for when your own wings come. I will! Mm -hmm. There it is. We finally made it to Dawn's place. Hey, Aunt Dawn. What's the little guy doing? I wish I could say he was doing better, but he lived at least. It's good you found him when you did. That's really hey. Um. Uh, any volunteers applications? Volunteer applications recently? I'm afraid not. The reputation of the nebular incident precedes us to a frustrating degree. Oh. I'm sorry. I, uh, guess we're lucky the thing didn't set off a radiation beam. It's all right, Mari. I know you were only trying to help. It's in the past now. Giant crack in the wall begs to differ. <laughs> Are there any tour groups scheduled to come in this week? Jasper Heights Middle School is coming this weekend. We need to make sure everything is in order by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jasper Heights. I actually went there for a year before I moved to Earth. Had a lot of math We were on Earth? But it was a good school. Math related nightmares? Oh, I didn't have the best grades. I made a whole lot of friends though. We had some wild karaoke nights in my mom's music room. Ugh, it's a wonder you and your parents never went deaf. <laughs> Rude. Any news from mom and dad's starship? Ah, radio silence from the war machine. Yeah, Dawn. If they just decided to help maintain the grounds with me, you'd hear from them more often, don't you think? I can't really picture either of them tending flowers. Mom's killed every potted plant she's ever tried to keep, actually. She certainly seems to enjoy destroying all kinds of things. That's better than us getting destroyed by monsters like the Cavum, though, right? We'll talk about this some other time. You still have work to do. Alright, let's go back to work. I feel so confused. Well, hello, Heather. Hey, Heather. What style are you giving him today? The whims of my creative soul are hard to predict, Manigosa. Hmm. So how many have you actually finished? The dreams of my creative soul are hard to put a number on, Mariposa. Okay. Have you scrapped the flitte yet? That cake looked a bit less shiny than usual. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you about that. Did you float some of them in for a checkup this morning? No. Why? Well, I meant to take care of them all this morning, but a handful of them were missing. I wasn't of sure if you were taking care of them, so I got to work on the sheet first. That's weird. I'll take a look around and see if there are any missing from the pride. I hope none of them got hurt. How pathetic. Let me know when you find it. Emergency escape pod. Uh... Your poetry? How's your poetry coming along? Making progress? Yes and no. The words weave themselves within my head and yet the thread always becomes entangled within itself. It is as if my pen transcribes knots of string onto the paper rather than the tapestry. You mean you have artists blog? I also just noticed sure, that yes. they have their names. Well, maybe I could hear what you have. Give you some feedback? I don't know. Um, shirts. I'm not quite in the mental space for critique at the moment. Why not? Mm -hmm. I won't bite. I distinctly remember you biting Bradley to the point of drawing blood last month. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! He grabbed me from behind by my shoulder and I thought it was a Calipec about to chow down on my flesh. I mean, and it wasn't out of line for me to think so because last time it was a Calipec and it was only through me giving it a good hard bite that it didn't take my arm off. Besides, Bradley's already forgiven me and I did not mean bite literally when it comes to your work. Okay. I'll share my poetry some other time. <laughs> You've been to Felmoria, right? What? What's with the head doing this? That's kid. That's What's a little weird, it's just... Uh, yep. Now there was a scene I dug hard. The locals really appreciated my work, you know? Lots of free-form cafe poetry nights, I take it. Indeed. On Felmuria, mm -hmm. the fountain of inspiration it's flowed forth to the end. <sighs> if only such acceptance but. and unshackled creativity could be found here on Poetica. Watching the animals here always helps me get inspired when I'm writing my music. 
Maybe that could work for you. I don't know. They're lovely, but these creatures don't give off the kind of creative aura my work yearns for. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can try tapping into a new aura then. Might be just what you need. I suppose it can't hurt. <laughs> she looks so unamused. Oh, that's cool. Of the vibe of being trapped upon this earthly plane, seeking retribution upon its fellows in a never ending quest to unlock the true depth of its capability of carnage? What? He thinks your vibe is rubbing off on the sheep. A <laughs> good influence, I think. That's not a good influence. Okay, so how do I. Wow. Bonnie, are you there? Hey, Bonnie. No. What's shaking? Oh. First off, in response to that hollow you sent me last night, I must say that it did give me a little bit of a chuckle. I was unaware uh -oh. that Shrubbery could jump like that. I know, right? <laughs> I didn't even try to scare him. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, the second thing I wanted to speak to you about was regarding my schooling. I decided to return to Floros for a master's degree. There's mm -hmm. much to learn and, and I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here with my research. Oh wow, that's stellar, Bonnie. So you're continuing with archaeology? Yes. I would like to inform you about my current discovery, but I'm afraid the topic is quite sensitive. I'd rather mm. tell you in person next time we meet. It has to do with the incident a few years ago. Oh, I see. Oh. I understand. It's alright. I wanted to ask if you're thinking about going back as well. You want to become a veterinarian, correct? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, well... I was thinking about it. I don't know. I, I think that maybe I'll stick around at Aunt Dawn's for a while. Why is that? You seemed excited to continue your education when you graduated. I barely graduated. Oh. But that's the thing. I don't know if I'm cut out for that more academic, technical medical stuff. I'm feeling lost when it comes to what I want right now. I understand. I feel you. If you ever need a study partner, just let me know. I can prepare your flashcards just like before midterms. The flashcards did help. Thanks again for that. Consider my study assistance a repayment for your kindness in helping my dear Daisy with her leg. I'm Ooh. never one to refuse a good trade. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Avery's home on the hooch again. Please excuse me if you hear anything excessively rude in the background. Uh, I think I'm going to call you back. All oh. good. See ya. Goodbye. Yeet. Goodbye, Rock. Hello, kitten. this whole time. Oh no, I make it spin. It and go spin mirror. I'm sorry. I'll be mad. Ooh. Restock fertilizer, restock fruit. Put it though. So I'm thinking. Right here? I guess so. Alright, so that one would be in green. I... 
That's all I had to do. I had to reset it by this point. What the hell is that? Save the animals! Oh, my health. Yeah. Oh no, there's more. I don't know how I feel about them dancing. In this cage, bitch. In there. Thank you. Spin. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to do that, but you know. Did you go? In here. Anton, are you there? No. Honey, is something wrong? I'm in the green dome. Some weird bird things just burrowed in and started attacking the sheep. I got them confined they before they heard any. What? It, do you have any idea what they are? No idea. Do you want to come down and check it out? I'll be right over. Can you check on the other habitats for me? Start with the ice dome. Sure thing. I'll send some pictures to Bonnie and see if she can identify them. I'm gonna see if I can finish this real quick. <gasps> I saw like a pretty there horse. Any of those birds here? Guess I'll feed the glacids and move to the next dome. Hmm. 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 It looks like the Raranox Aurora lamp isn't working. They'll get restless without it on. Navi. I'll have to take care of that too. Hey, we whack it with our herb. Hello. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Eat the glaciers. Oh, I want it. Yep, it looks like I'm gonna have to catch her more animals soon. You required the meats. Here you go. Yeah. I wanted to see you take it. Oh, I'm so sad now. Come on, do I really have to touch it? Oh, that's so cute! Oh my god. Like, all I'm thinking now is SCPs. <laughs> Why did I think this was a good idea? I'm sorry. Um, me. There we go. Totally didn't fall. Oh my god, the birds have returned. Hey, get away from them! Okay, so I can only pick up one at a time. That's nice to know. Sorry, horsey. Get your ass in there. No. Now, where is the other one? There it is. Give me your bitch. Get your ass in there. Aunt Dawn, I found more of the mystery birds in the ice dome. Any idea what these things are yet? I haven't had time to check. They appear similar to some fauna from Felmoria, but I can't hmm. be certain. I sent Heather and Bradley to check on the lava dome, so go ahead and check on the space dome. Oh, if the birds burrow up there, that could cause serious damage. Serious damage? Right, I'm on it. Hmm. That will be all for this episode, well, demo of this game. If you guys, again, want to support the devs and everything, the link will be in the description with the Kickstarter and everything. And yeah, I hope to see more of it later on. And, well, of course.
I'll see you guys next time. Bye.